Hey everyone, welcome back to more Lost Odyssey, where last time we got to Ura as Seth and with Colin in tow. And yeah, he has some decent skills and such, but it's not really a great place to level him here. I mean, it would be nice, honestly, but with the low amount of encounters here, like the encounter rate is pretty low. They do put that there in case you want to do that, because it just means free heals. It's, it's really simple. It just takes forever, so I'm not really going to be bothering doing it. At least not here. Not now, anyway. But in this area, we have quite a lot of treasures to grab. So I'm going to get started by grabbing a seed. Just checking around here. There's another thing right over here. That gives us three pendulums. And then if we go right over here, there should be a poster to rip. And I believe that is it in this area. I don't think I can kick that, so let's move on back over this way. Because I believe right down in the beginning over here -ish, poster anything. I feel like I'm going too far. Am I going too far? I feel like I am. Yeah, I'm leaving the screen now. Where is it? Hey, I wasn't ready. This is fine because it would be nice to level toll and while I'm at it. All the enemies here, I've dealt with a couple of them in the last episode, like prior. It's pretty simple. You could just get away with just attacking the entire time. There's nothing really too special about these. Just sit there and attack. Have this uh, thing do that at you. And just spam the A button. We're just dealing with two attackers here. We don't really have anything special, so just attack. We're good to go. And every battle that we do get, we will at least level more than likely because Tolan is lower. Let's see, so skills, skill link. I learned persistence, so that's good. What do I want to learn? I just learned member hit. Flicks damage on one enemy based on the member difference. That's very, very weirdly written. Basically, if we have more people in our party, we just do more damage. It, it, I don't know why they named it that way. It's so weird. So, uh, let's put on a ward medal, and do I want to learn persistence, or do I want to put on persistence, I mean? I'm, I'm thinking of it, honestly, I feel like it's a good idea. Just gotta find where it's at. Where are you? Persistence, 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 persistence. There you go. There you go, so if Seth were to fall down to zero, it stays alive. So it's a little bit even better for an immortal, because they could just get back up after they die after a few turns. Perfect. Oh wait, 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 did I uh, learn something else while I was at it? No wait, that was, that was totally, never mind. Uh, let's see. Poster, there you are. Sometimes those things are really hard to see. Because they're just like slightly flapping. And it, I don't know why, but like on the original, I swear I probably missed quite a few of these posters. Just because it's so hard to see them. Look at that. I mean, it kind of stands out because it's lighter, but it, you have to like zoom in to see that it's flapping in order to be like, oh, there's an item there. It, it's so weird why they would do that. I don't really need to waste heals right now because I could just do that. But let's go down this path for now because over here we have a box we can break. That technically didn't really work out because I could still hit things, but I guess do this and grab this. And then grab this. Grab, grab this. There we go. Alright then, let's head over this way. Of course. More battles, more holding the Avon. <laughs> oh, there's even less things here, so I can just maybe get rid of them on this turn. Yep. <laughs> more than likely. Another level up? So close. So close. Anyways, down this path we go. Be on the lookout for more treasures. Let's see. Anything I could hit? There's a ladder right here. Might as well just do this really quick. Oop. I see a thing I could kick over there. So, power drink. Move down. I never really... Those are nice because it's like, oh, hey, free power-ups. At the same time, I rarely use those kind of things. So it's just weird to me. Let's see. 
There's a poster. I knew there was a poster. You grab that. I like the low encounter rate in this. Like, the, I didn't even see the kick animation. Did the kick animation even happen there? <laughs> I kind of want to replay that in my recording. Just to see if it did happen or not. Just confirm it. Future self, let's remind myself to do that. Because I really, really want to see it. Okay, we got another thing right over here. Kick. And then up here. Anything over here, we have... A cat. That is a cat. All the way over here. Looks like I could head here. And this leads over to here, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I have a couple more things I want to grab in this area before I continue. So let me head back over here. All right, that has been a long time coming, but I finally learned Weapon Guard 2 with somebody. So let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, anything else I could learn? It doesn't look like it, so um, I'll just keep it on for now. I think we're good there. All right, so back down the ladder before I head into that section. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Let's see, I do see boxes there. So there has to be another way around. And unfortunately, I think I know where that other way around is. <laughs> Boxes! Hi, cat. Let's see, we got a ladder right here. Another kitty. It's blocked off a... Okay. <laughs> I don't think there was a jump animation there. But apparently there was. Okay, and there should be one more item right down the way. And then I can make my way back over there. Right behind these. There we are. But yeah, I went all the way back over here and didn't get into a single battle. So that just should, that should tell you how low the encounter rate is in this area. All right, so now we're on Main Street, but we're on above Main Street. I do like that the shadow actually is functioning up here. It's kind of neat, so I can hit this. Sometimes I always think those are big ones. It's just kind of weirdly shaped to me. But before we enter this door here, we're actually going to go past it because we have another door over here as well as another kitty cat a lot of cats up here it's weird that the alley cats are more like they are alley cats yeah but i wouldn't expect them to be up high i mean i guess i don't, I don't know would do cats like to do that a lot and just go up top things and just kind of meander around but yeah while we're raiding the back of this person's store let's grab these two items and there we go that's pretty much a successful raid of things right there move on what do we got here hello Travelers, would you like to have one of the special rings I make? Let's see, can I make one right now? I can make the turtle shell ring, actually, now I think about it. Hmm, do I want to do that? Hardened killer and bow killer. Sure, why not? I'll take that. And let's see, hardened killer, hardened killer. Is that... I'm trying to remember what that ring does. It's been a hot minute. Let's see. Sort. Where are you? There you are. Inflicts significant damage on hardened enemies. And then organic enemies. So that could be useful. Right now, though, I already have Bow Killer. That actually, wait. Technically, that might be slightly better, but since it's level one plus, eh, I think we're good here. And if I want, I can buy things from Barkus again, but Barkus has kind of really low stock things. Like it's pretty much early game stuff wants, but I can buy some things, I suppose. Other than that, I'm good to go. So let's get out of here. And head towards the door that we skipped, because the door that we skipped is actually progress. Pretty much it slightly pays to remember the layout of this place. Either way, you can kind of come back here and just go here anyway. But here we go. Oh, Lord Tolan, you're still alive! 
And you are? I was one of the humble servants of Saiva, our previous king. I doubt you remember it by this point, but I was honored to meet you several times as well, your majesty. However, plans are already afoot in town for our royal secession ceremony. What is the meaning of your presence here? To make a long story short, we need to stay under cover or the king's life will be in danger. Could you pretend you never saw us here? Oh my goodness! What a pitiful state of affairs for the rightful king of Aura. And, well, I understand. My loyalty is unwavering to the very end. Are you aware, your majesty, of the Urn royal seals? They may aid you if you are being pursued. The royal seals are Urn property dotted across the world, and only as an or and only an urn royal may open them. I believe there is one located somewhere inside the city. They say the seal's power will reveal itself to those worthy of the throne, and it certainly seems you are in a position to require that power. In that case, allow me to give you this. I hope it proves useful, your majesty. A talisman! Well, that's something new I can learn. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. I'm not sure if I already learned something from a talisman. Let's find out. Talisman! Absorb magic. Occasionally absorbs the magic damage inflicted by enemies. Honestly, this is probably better than absorb attack because absorb damage is kind of like, well, like attack damage in a way, but occasionally absorbing damage from magic attacks? Sure, I want to learn that. Yeah, let's head down. I already gathered all the items in this area from way early on. Welcome. I would like to wish you a pleasant stay, but I'm afraid that may be a tad difficult. Some soldiers were here earlier looking for you. Don't worry, though. We will never allow our guests to come into danger on our watch. I've asked the chef to open the back door for you. It will be much safer entering and exiting that way. Now then, please come in. I understand that the chef has a special menu prepared for you. Oh yes, the chef is a man in the hallway. He's often mistaken for a doddering old man, but his skills in the kitchen are impeccable. In any case, please enjoy your stay with us. You'll be completely safe here. Just be sure not to use the front exit. It would be rather dangerous. Yeah, so don't go out the front. Good to know. But now we have access to this back door. So you're the chef, right? Oh, so on the run from the soldiers, huh? What do you do, huh? Oh, well, I'll take care of you well enough. You just try to get some rest, okay? Yes, I'm going to go over this way and actually leave out the back door. Because now, we are in the main street, the back side of the main street anyway. We have a sewer entrance right there that we can enter. But first, you know how these things go. There's three items in this back alleyway that we can reach, so I'm going to get all three of them all again. I remember trying to get these in the dead beginning of the game. There's like a big gate in the way. <laughs> I don't know why, like, I always, like, pertain this area as, oh, I can actually, can you get over there? Thank you. That's weird. And down we go. Now for the fun part. The sewers. The icky, gross sewers. Yeah, let's head over here, grab this chest. Starting chest. Why not? Alright, that's one. And let's see, what else can we do over here? I'm pretty sure there's going to be encounters and such. But what we can do is we can lower this. And make the, like, water not come from that area. So is there another one over here maybe I could hit somewhere? Did I miss it? Is the button over on this side? It might be down below. I'll just keep an eye out. Let me go across this. Let's see, the water level is still high, so I imagine there's a button that I get just hit and raise this up and lower the water level. I swear these games love to just play with like water physics all the time, and I swear no matter what LP I'm playing, I'm always gonna say lower the water level at some point. It, it just happens. Now that can bring us over here with more buttons. These buttons just open up these gates for like a quick handy dandy shortcut. I'm gonna hit both of these really quick. Knock them out of the way. And that will lead right back here if I so chose. Like I could just head right here and be back here. But I'm actually going to head over here because there's a little hidden like exit over here. And we're just gonna make a quick in and out of the secret cave. So all I gotta do is just grab this. And we are good to go. Let's get out of here. Bloop. Straight back. Okay, so let's see here. You have more items, more ways to go. Anything over here? Nope. Got a lot of jumping puzzles, it looks like, over there.
<laughs> the way that they're positioned made it look like they're like, why are we in the sewer? <laughs> like a split second, like it took them a long enough to realize that, hey, we need to attack them. Oh man, if I had counter right now, that would have been great. All right. And that should kill you. Or not. You guarded. Okay. You get an attack off. Man, you do no damage. That was a rather uneventful yes. battle. Thank you. Never underestimate the royal house. Good. And level 30. Doesn't take long to get to like higher levels of characters that are lower behind. That's not a sentence, but you get what I mean, right? Leveling up in order to catch people up. That's pretty much exactly what I just did. The low encounter rate doesn't even matter. It's just like, oh, hey, there we go. It still takes some time, though, because you're waiting for them to just actually attack. So, yeah. Jumping puzzles. Just get on the right side, wait for the A button, and then just hit. Just make sure you're in the right spot before you hit it, because you wind up jumping to the wrong platform again and again and again, like I just did just now. All right, so we're good there. So I'm going to hit this button here. And that should change up this puzzle, which is not really much of a puzzle. I don't... Get what is the point of these? Like, I just hit the button once and then I could grab the other item. Like, it's nothing. So, that wasn't really much of a puzzle. Well, that's nice. It gives us something. Jump, jump, jump. Jump. Jump and jump. There we go. And we're pretty much done over here. So, let's head up here. All right, so we got a puzzle where we need to make sure that the water is gone. So let's do this. There we go. That should lower the water level. And then hit it once again. And that should make it so I can just walk across. The water is gone now because it's not coming from the beginning. Get out over here. Grab this. There's no water down there, so I can head down there. There should be a ladder somewhere. Let's see. Is there a ladder? Oh, <laughs> I thought that thing. It was floating. It wasn't standing on anything. Huh. Anyways, there's a ladder right here. We could take it straight down. You can't grab that yet. As you can tell, the item is down below. So we need to make the water level about halfway. Shouldn't be too hard. Just need to play around with those in order to do that. But let's see here. What do we got? We got a thing there. And another ladder, which we could take this one. And grab this. There we go. I don't get the point of, like, a sewer system dam. Like, what is the point of that? I mean, can you just have it open all the time and just let it drain? Because it's a sewer system, after all. Or does it, like, it need to have, like, sufficient water pressure or something? Alright, well, at least I'm learning things. So, let's see. Award medal I just learned. So... Hmm. Sure. <laughs> don't really know what to learn at this point because I already learned persistence and I don't really need any much else. So, if we want to get that item that is down below, there's no ladder there. There's only like a halfway ladder. Should press this one down. We're basically playing with water physics now. So, we are going to open this up here. Bring some water in. Click it again. Keep the water there. And that also provides, like, our way out. And then we hit this button to kind of, like, drain it halfway. There we go. Now I can head over here. Since I got the water trapped back there, I can just kind of use this since I got, like, a half and half going on. And grab this. All curse, new magic. It's about time, honestly. It's been a while since I got any new magic. That should be black magic. All curse finally fills up that one slot in level five that's been annoying me this whole time. I'm like, did I miss something? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? I'm like, no, I didn't actually miss anything. 
it, it it's just the most annoying thing because they put it there instead of like level six or at the end here. Like just swap these two around. But I guess it's because of the way that the layout is. It's kind of like ground prism force ground to prisma, and then it'll be like force uh, or whatever. Like you know, like you know the driving game. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're done here. That's pretty much it. So let's get out of here. Straight over here, and we get a ladder. Alright, another area. Another big area, mind you. I'm not even joking. This area is pretty big. So, let's head over here. Let's see. Item one. Might as well hit this because this is our next logical destination. But we're going to head down this way first. In order to pull this poster. There we go. And then down this way where we have... A pot. Okay, grab that. It's funny that we're spent, we're like, quote unquote, saving time by going through this, but also since there's so many items. Hello there. Hi, doggo. Hi, doggo. Guess you're going that way. Let's see, this is clearly the way forward. Just making sure I'm grabbing everything here. There should be a ladder. Okay, cool. Climb, please. I'm hitting the A button. There we go. And we have this right here. And then over here, we go straight along and grab this. There we go. That's a seed. Now we can head down. And check out this side if we wanted to, which we are going to. Got this right over here. Straight down this way. Should lead to a spot where... Yeah, it just leads right back here. Not a big deal. Let's see. Where is it? I swear looking for these items sometimes is just super annoying. Where are you? Because again, if you miss one, you're going to be sitting there like, What did I miss? What did I miss this whole time? And yeah, it's a, it's a poster. It is a poster. Of course it's a poster. Alright. Back this way. Let's see here. Hi, kitty. More posters? More posters? Anything? I haven't seen anything just yet, but we got this to kick. More whetstones. Right here. I swear these items. I swear. Just so annoying. Just takes so long. Okay. That looks like a clear dead end, so... Back this way. Am I missing something? Am I being stupid? Oh yeah, this path keeps going. <laughs> there we go. All right, we got this little thingy right here. Life stealing tooths. Anything up here? Anything up here? No, no, but we do have this down here. Oh, pot, pot. Gutsy claws. Down this way. I swear the bright posters are like, oh, I gotta do something with that, but it's not. If we head down this way here, this way, I believe, yes, is one of these. Earn Royal Family Crest. Could this be the Royal Seal? It's sitting in the middle of a back alleyway. W what? Royal Seal broken. Royal Seal, an ordeal that a king must endure to be crowned. 
The one who releases eight seals and obtains seven treasures shall challenge the Erring King's ordeal in his land. Royal tradition. I always thought it was a legend, but now I've witnessed it with my own eyes. Royal Knight's Sword and the Royal Knight's Ring. We're definitely upgrading Tone immediately. <laughs> so let's put these on him. Ceremonial Sword. How about let's raise him by 87 attack, please? Nice. Let's see. And then the Royal Knight Ring. GC down level 2, Machine Killer level 2, and Magic Killer level 2. That's nice, but I also have the Sparring Ring on right now. And honestly, that's slightly better. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick with that for the moment. Just so he does a little bit more damage. Break it. Break it. Am I done learning the thing from earlier? I am not. I'm not sure how I'm not, but... Break it. Bypasses any defense and directly inflicts damage on one enemy. I'm gonna learn that. That sounds really good. But yeah, let's get out of this area. All right, continuing on. Let's see here. Anything over here? Anything over here? I see a ladder and head that way. So I guess I'm heading down. Got a doggo right there. I see a poster. Anything else while I'm at it? Yep, right over here. And then right here. Alright, let's get out of this alleyway finally. This alleyway is so like, we took forever just going through just because we're looking for items. But, that should lead us back to Station Square. That isn't the most annoying chanting ever. Also, I just lost like a ton of frame right there. All right. We got a chest right here. Which has a slot seed. Thankfully, it's been forever since we got one of those. As well as one of these. A hill fool. We haven't really got one of those yet. A heal fool is basically fully restores HP of one party member when you use it. It's essentially the mega elixir. Well, are the elixir, I should say, because this one's just for one party member. So it's the elixir of this game. And the Ambrosia, a legendary fruit that greatly restores HP and MP of one party member. So that one is basically actually the elixir, but it's not like a full heal, so... What do we... Yeah, it's basically just... It's slightly like... It's the highs, I would say. But yeah, we're finally out of that stupid alleyway. It took quite some time. But now that we're here... Next time in Azure plays, more Lost Odyssey. Let's get out of this area because this chanting is already annoying me. <laughs> See you all then.